Let's answer some questions. I'm new to the cath lab. Why is stent necessary if the clot was removed? What do the fluoro show after clot removal and is it always necessary to stent after thrombectomy? Number one, this is a thrombus. This is a clot from a STEMI, so of a patient having a heart attack. So what's happening in here is there was a plaque rupture and this is gross, but think like a pimple popping. You not only have this thrombus that has been created because of the immune response from the injury, but usually you also have some particulate. The way that we treat this and the way that was chosen to treat is with thrombectomy. So we put a catheter down kind of like a vacuum and it sucks out all this clot and cleans it out. Why do you stent even if the clot was removed? So let's say we clean this all out. Here's another result after thrombectomy. If it actually looked like this after thrombectomy, why do we follow with a stent? And the reason is, unfortunately, we caused an immune response just by doing an intervention. The stent is put in to keep the vessel open even after removing the clot. Because remember, yes, it might look smooth. Let's say this is kind of what it looked like after we just did thrombectomy before a stent. Even though it appears good, it is not going to stay that way because that injury process is still going on. The body's natural response is gonna be to try to close that area, just like if you had a cut on your arm and constantly try to heal that. So we like to keep the stent, to keep the vessel open, to keep, support it, tack up any little dissections or injury that might still be there. And there's some drugs on there. There's anti-proliferative and anti-inflammatory drugs to help with the cell regeneration process of that inner layer to get the optimal result. Never say never, right? We don't like to say always in the cath lab. We are now having drug coated balloons where you don't have to leave a stent behind. We already do that in the legs and the peripheral vasculature. So ideally, hopefully we don't always have to put a stent, but for many, many years now, that is the way that we treat.